This conference will now be recorded. Let's start now. Business consolidation with group reporting S4HANA 2023. So 2023, it's the latest version available on-premise. So we are going to uh, work on on-premise system. So let's understand what is group reporting. Today's in the today's demo, we are going to understand the entire content what I'm going to cover in this particular group reporting course. SAP, uh, when you observe, a lot of changes happening in SAP. Earlier, we used to have ECC system, BW system, BPC system. So different systems we were having. And now, if you see S4HANA system, within S4HANA system, they added the consolidation. Yeah, And SAC, you know, SAC for planning, SAC they introduced. SAC planning is uh, now most of the people are uh, implementing. So in this particular session, we are going to talk about consolidation group reporting. So let's understand modern finance platform. We all know the record to report process. Most of you are FA consultants. You know what is uh, record to report process? So you record the transactions. It may be expense, it may be income, right? You have a parallel accounting and you have a chart of accounts, all those uh, configured in your system. You post the transactions, then you generate the income statement, balance sheet, and also you have uh, uh, local close. So whatever uh, uh, every month and close and year and close, those local closes are there. So this this was the process uh, we you've been working in effect. So we 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 limited to local close. When I say local close, uh, you are you are closing one entity, one entities, one company code, financial statements. Uh, uh, responsibility is that FI or the particular FI user. Now, if you observe in the modern finance platform, so it's it's record to report process, and now the record to report process, whatever uh, FI process I'm, I'm I'm talking about, SAP extended that. Right. So how are the SAP extended with the modern finance platform? So now my point is group reporting added in the finance solution itself earlier when sap introduced it was group reporting it was a separate product but going forward uh, they changed and now it's part of finance now you can see here finance you have financial reporting local close intercompany group close so and you can see single financial growth what does it mean so you have universal journal table in the universal journal table you have expenses data, you have income data, you have assets, liabilities, and equity, whatever payables, receivables, entire data, material ledger data, whatever. I mean, I'm talking about finance. I'm, I'm, I'm currently I'm not uh, discussing management accounting or controlling. <laughs> so, the finance functions basically includes financial reporting, whatever I'm talking about, income and uh, income statement and balance sheet, cash flow. And you can see the local close. So in the financial reporting, whatever entity with local close happens. Now, if you observe here, intercompany. <clears throat> intercompany, SAP added in the finance solution, right? Intercompany recently introduced 2019. Uh, in, as part of S4HANA, they, uh, they added this intercompany matching and reconciliation. So operational level intercompany matching and reconciliation and group level intercompany matching and reconciliation. Both are part of this intercompany matching solution. Most of the things are same. Most of the things are same when you are talking about ICMR, intercompany matching and reconciliation. Some text, <clears throat> what you can do, uh, 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 you can, it is operational data. If it is operational data, you can use universal general table for the source to match. And if it is, group reporting or if it is uh, consolidation relevant or it is uh, if it is group close part of group close then you have to use universal general table and group reporting tables to uh, get a reconciliation report then you have group close when you talk about group close it's all about local currencies so you have different entities when i say group you have different legal entities you are going to consolidate these legal entities when you are consolidating consolidating these uh, legal entities 
you have to perform different tasks so which are different from this financial reporting tasks right financial reporting when you are closing you have different tasks currency translation some open items cleared items grir whatever uh, you have closing but when you talk about group clause whenever whenever you talk about group clause it's about all legal entities local currencies converting to group currency collecting sap data non sap data you might be having sap entities you might be having non sap entities collect data for sap and non sap consolidate this uh, data when you talk about consolidation you have to run intercompany matching and reconciliation then on top of that you have to eliminate intercompany transactions so that's why intercompany matching and reconciliation <clears throat> as part of group reporting also available so what i mean to say you have to run intercompany matching and reconciliation on top of that you have to understand what are the differences among the companies and the differences should be posted and then you have to run intercompany eliminations as part of group reporting clause or group clause here only you have to run consolidation of investments right so that's what the financial sol solution now sap is uh, uh, introduced so it's already available from 2020 this all, all this uh, particular uh, scenario so now whenever people ask you like what is the record record to report process right earlier it was different but now it includes financial reporting and group reporting both part of your finance system and also you, you as i said like for the planning part of it so this, this is all about actual so this this particular finance solution whatever i'm talking about financial reporting or group close it's part of actuals yeah operational planning now they are moving move to sac planning side sap analytics cloud planning side so whatever s4 hana whatever actuals are there it can be uh, live or imported to sac using embedded analytics and the planning can be done in <clears throat> sac it may be sales planning it may be workforce planning it, it may be supply chain planning operations planning expenses planning product cost estimate right these things can happen in in planning side sac planning side and there is a very tight integration between s4 hana system and sac yeah so this is the future finance platform platform so already uh, uh, SSC planning group reporting most of the projects are uh, implemented <clears throat> now going forward most of the projects will be in these areas now in this particular course whatever i'm i'm talking about it's only covers group reporting it will not cover SSC planning SSC planning is a separate course so earlier you see separate local and group uh, group accounting so earlier when earlier in the sense as i said like you have ecc system vw system dpc system so ecc you we used to do uh, financial reporting legal entity wise we used to have one solution ecc is consolidations right uh, very uh, few people used to use that one then when sap introduced bpc uh, there in business planning and consolidation we used to do the consolidation now <clears throat> this is at, at that time this was the situation right so a, a consolidation as a, a legacy consolidation it may be bpc or any other system in, and there there might be some etl tools right so like bw intermediary tools and then you have local finance system it may be ecc it may be s4 but and then sap introduced s4 hana system and as part of central finance s4 hana central finance so your local accounting and group accounting both happens in uh, one s4 hana system so there is so what happens when you when you have uh, group reporting and local reporting in one one particular system there is no etl right so uh, extraction transformation loading both the data will be there in the same s4 hana system and it's very it's very easy to for the reporting side also and it's also very easy for the reconciliation so for the reconciliation now what sap did to make it very easy they come up with group reporting preparation ledger concept using that group reporting preparation ledger concept whatever data you post in local accounting it can derive group reporting fields also 
there will be a mapping from operational GL accounts to financial statement items. System can update those financial statement items in add of a table itself. As I said, like it's part of finance. Group reporting is part of finance. So those those fields also available in the universal journal table. And the so mainly the another benefit is both uses theory only as front end. And if you want n number of time you can release the data so whenever you post any transaction so period and close it it's a, it's common right in fi most of the times you know, they always post even though period closed again they will open post so in, this kind of conditions also you can easily handle if you have local accounting and group accounting in group reporting in one system so here you have s4 hana SAP S4 HANA, it may be central finance system, it may be individual S4 HANA system without central finance. So you have global local reporting and you on top of that you have group accounting and uh, you have different tools integrated with S4 HANA. So analytics cloud for planning, group reporting data collection for non-SAP sources, non-financials, uh, some notes, you, you can also add notes in this and also disclosure management here, you see. this this to publish online print electronic submission. So, for example, you have data in the Yagdok for example, Universal Journal table. So, you want to prepare some schedules on top of that. So, you can use disclosure management. When you prepare the disclosure management using this particular tool, you can prepare whatever format you want and you can you can submit to the uh, electronic submission on server. So, preparation ledger, it's, uh, introduced we will discuss this one later introducing uh, that they introduce group reporting preparation nature so that's uh, that's uh, we will discuss tomorrow so now so group reporting process so what we are going to cover in this particular uh, group reporting session so total course divided into four parts first part is data collection second one preparation third one consolidation fourth one reporting so these are the four parts in in the group reporting and their content so any product it may be uh, group reporting it may be any other consolidation product so the the product divided into four parts first data collection so that means you have different sources yeah you have uh, uh, master data transaction data you have to create legal entities you have to create companies Right, so that is what legal entities. So legal entities, companies, you have to create. Both are same. Legal entity, company. Here we call it as consolidation unit. You have to maintain uh, 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 group chart of accounts or consolidation chart of accounts. You have to maintain transaction types. You have to maintain if if the customer want profit centers segments. You have to maintain that particular data. So data data collection is real time SAP S4 HANA data access for transaction data and master data whatever universal general table data is there that will be available for the group report just you need to just execute the release you have to just release the data the master data also integrated yeah so when you create a profit center here in uh, fi that profit center you can get it in group reporting non-sap master data so sap yes you have uh, integration so you can get that master data whatever not at non-sap non-sap also you have integration so using uh, group reporting integration in the sense uh, it's not like third party integration actually within group reporting you have some uh, master data definition screens you can create non-sap profit centers right you can create non-sap segments whatever non-sap data is there then you can create so easy integration of non-sap data preparation so once you collect the data, SAP data you collect, so income statements and balance sheets of your legal entities, you collect it. Yeah, that's called data collection. So data collection as part of data collection. So the all legal entities, SAP data, non-SAP data, you are going to put it in group reporting. So group reporting table, we call it as ACDOCU. So in the ACDOCU table, you have SAP data non-SAP data, SAP entities data, non-SAP entities data. Then second phase preparation. When we talk about preparation, whatever data we collected from non-SAP and SAP, whether it is 
the balance sheet is zero or not. So any whether it may be SAP or non-SAP, your assets should be equivalent to liabilities plus equity for each each uh, entity. And it should and also the local currency it should match, group currency also it, it should match. I have ten legal entities. The ten legal entities might have different local currencies. All these local currencies, when you want to consolidate, you can, if, if, if these are in different currencies and different fiscal year variants, I cannot consolidate. So we define one consolidation fiscal year variant, one consolidation currency. So we will perform currency translation. This currency translation basically going to convert your local currency data to group currency. On top of that, you can have manual journal entries. So some adjustments which you are not, so adjustments always preferable to post in source then you you do it um, and and you uh, release it to group reporting sometimes if you need some reclassification uh, kind of entries so for example gain on asset sale you want to show it as other income in the consolidation reports so you can do some manual journal entries and also you run the intercompany matching and reconciliation at legal entity level. So you have all intercompany transactions. SAP introduced one more table called ICA doc M intercompany accounting doc table. ICA doc M table. So in this ICA doc M table, all intercompany transactions I can move from the group reporting to or from the universal journal also I can move and uh, all the intercompany relevant data and I can reconcile and if any differences I can identify the reasons for the differences different reasons right so it's always it's all it's it's not necessary that always your purchase order should match with your goods received or uh, uh, your invoice right so there might be some differences all right it may be uh, uh, it, so so there may be some differences because of uh, uh, exchange rates there might be differences because of transaction currency when you convert to group currency there might be some difference local currency when you convert to group currency there might be some difference so intercompany matching and reconciliation we can we can identify those differences and we can post those differences to the intercompany differences accounts that's also possible and consolidation once it is done, on top of this intercompany matching and reconciliation and our data preparations, we will perform intercompany eliminations. We will perform consolidation of investments. Consolidation of investments in the sense because it's a for consolidation means group of entities part of one particular consolidation group. At that consolidation group level, you have to calculate investment elimination, capital elimination, goodwill calculation, minorities calculation, non-controlling interest calculations. You have to perform all non-controlling non, non non-controlling interest and goodwill calculations. Then you have reporting, right? Reporting in the sense management consolidation is a reporting. So legal consolidation, we are, we performed all these activities for the legal consolidation. The same legal consolidation data, whatever is available, that I can use it for the management consolidation. Yes, for Hana is a product which can deliver legal consolidation and group cons uh, management consolidation. That's why it's called matrix consolidation. S4 HANA can perform matrix consolidation because it can perform legal consolidation and uh, 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 management consolidation. And also, as part of this reporting, not only management consolidation, SAP introduced one more equity pickup. In BPC, it was there. Here also, it's uh, equity pickup is part of this is, so some particular countries like uh, uh, China, Brazil, Italy, they need equity pickup reports. Holding company want to show their investments as on date. What is the what is their invest, investment value? So that is also aware that if even that that's a requirement in finance also. If that requirement comes, you can use group reporting table to perform that uh, equity pickup report. So reporting cash flow, I want consolidated cash flow, I want consolidated changes in equity, 
So every, I mean, when, when you take your subsidiaries, right, there might be change, there might be some changes in their equity, right? So because, uh, uh, because they might be uh, adding new shares or they might be, uh, they, 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 their current income is uh, added, whatever equity changes. So changes in equity, comprehensive income, you might be having different sources for your income, not only your main sales, right? So because you invested somewhere, because of that, you are getting some uh, interest or something. So that, so that uh, other comprehensive income also you have to expand. So consolidated comprehensive income report, cash flow report, changes in equity, all happens here. And also for group, nowadays, you know, so many blocks also SAP releasing. So group reporting is tightly integrated with SAC. So we use word data connection for these uh, two, two systems. So group reporting data can be accessed in SAC. And you can perform uh, very good dashboards. You can create very good dashboards reporting everything in SAC. And also uh, for the planning. So for example, actual data, you can plan, copy to plan and again, you can get back to the back to the queue table. So all those options, so many enhancements happening between group reporting and SAC integration. So this is entire process we are going to uh, discuss and also the detailed course content. Let's go through the detailed course content. So first we'll start, uh, we will understand the business consolidation group reporting overview. So 2023 version we are going to use. So key terms, features, right, data model, how many tables are there. And also we will go through entire legal consolidation overview. That means in the system, I'm going to execute legal consolidation activities. So that you will get, so as an end user, how you, like how the group accountant or local accountant going to execute these consolidation processes that we will see. So the perform month and closing is for that. Then as I said, like uh, first part only, part one is uh, uh, unit two, master data and structure. So we have to talk about master data. We are going to understand consolidation units, consolidation groups, consolidation structure, financial statement items, right? And also additional fields, for example, if the customer is having any custom fields in the AgDoc PA table, how to include those custom fields in uh, group reporting? How to activate profit center for group reporting, segment for the repo group reporting. If you want, if the customer want profit pro, uh, p and by functional area, so that then I need a uh, profit center. If the customer wants segmental reporting in group reporting, right? So I need to, uh, I need to uh, activate segment also. So how to add additional fields in the group reporting? Additional master data and the custom fields, custom attributes. That is also part of, if you want custom fields, if you want to add some custom attributes, that also we are going to discuss in this particular part, uh, particular group reporting course. And in the, we are going to understand financial statement items and the financial statement items means consolidation account. Consolidation account, we call it as a financial statement item. And for the financial statement items, uh, we will explain the financial statement item based on different attributes. So for example, when you are creating a GL account in the FI, you have different attributes in the GL account. So what kind of account it is? What is it? Is it a primary cost account, secondary cost account, cash account? So that is one attribute. You have field status variant assigned to this particular uh, GL account. Tax code assigned to this particular GL account. So those are all attributes of a GL account. Same way financial statement item is having uh, one, one very important attribute called breakdown category. So we are going to understand breakdown category, consolidation transaction types, functional areas, right? So transaction types and functional areas, we call it as sub items here. And we are going to understand how to add from some financial statement attributes. So each and every attribute. So there are set of attributes which are one is to one relationship, set of attributes, one is to n relationships, and a set of attributes, uh, target attributes. So we are going to understand different uh, attributes and we are going to map, very important uh, thing, all operational GL accounts to financial statement items. And we are going to assign this mapping to uh, that particular version that we are going to understand. So for everything we are going to execute in the system, it's not like theoretical sessions, it's a hands-on exercises will be there. So we are going to execute all these exercises in a the system. Then 
once the master data is ready then it comes to the data preparation when we talk about data preparation it's all about how the transaction data is generated in the group reporting so for example sap data is released from the uh, act of a table to act of q table non sap data is collected by a csv files and after after importing the data to importing in the sense after releasing and after loading the data to group reporting we need to validate that particular data universal data general data we have to validate uh, non sap data sap data we have to validate whether assets equal to liabilities plus equity or not whether the asset value is greater than accumulated depreciation or not whether my expense payable less than 10 percent of my cash or not so the validation the sap the the customer has some validations we can incorporate those validations in the in the group reporting you have validations and substitutions here so whatever validation i said now universal journal data so whatever available data in add up u table that you can validate <clears throat> that is one thing already existing data some validations and substitutions will be there in fi what happens if when when the user is entering one expense if the user is not giving the cost center you get an error message you means the user going to get an error message saying that cost object is uh, required for the primary cost account so that there is a validation executed so that's why it is showing that so same way here also in in group reporting you have validations and substitutions we are going to understand validations and substitutions here all right uh, at at when you are posting these validations and substitutions will be uh, run and here you have different document types when you load when you uh, load data from flat files one document when you release the data one document type when you execute eliminations one document type when you execute uh, uh, consolidation of investments one document type you have different document types you are you have different posting levels those we are going to understand also we are going to understand manual adjustments if you want any adjustments directly in group reporting universal not in the universal journal table you want to do some group specific adjustments or uh, uh, adjustments relevant to consolidation how to do those uh, top side adjustments and also we are going to understand what are the selected items so when we are going to calculate the net income every month when you calculate the net income every month you should you should uh, run net income calculation so a system is going to post one leg in pnl statement other leg in balance sheet net income post right net income is transferred to balance sheet so for that system is going to uh, 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 generate an entry and it's, it's, as i said like group journal validation substitution validations and substitutions also we are going to understand so some reclassifications are there so for example if you have uh, in in local you are you are posting 20 percent depreciation when it comes to the group it's it's 15 percent for all common depreciation percentage we have to pick up so every month i need to adjust that five percent so we can generate some automatic entries using reclassifying uh, reclassifications so how to do the reclassification every month how to automate the entries that we are going to understand then we have currency translation currency translation happens for historical accounts non-historical accounts balance sheet derived divided, divided into two parts non-historical accounts and historical accounts so how the calculation happens for the non-historical accounts how the calculation happens for the historical accounts how the currency translation differences are identified that we are going to understand in this currency translation and all the exercises i listed here then the fourth unit which is important unit consolidation and consolidations and eliminations as part of this consolidations and eliminations we are going to understand intercompany matching and reconciliation icmr and we are going to identify the differences so there are different tasks when you are performing this how to configure this intercompany matching and reconciliation application that we will understand and also sap introduced one uh, app called manage reconciliation close how this manage reconciliation close facilitates group accountants and uh, intercompany accountants to check the differences that we are going to understand how they can come to an uh, agreement that also we can understand using this particular reconciliation close and then we are going to perform matrix consolidation that is management consolidation 
and we are going to run we are going to integrate integral intercompany matching and reconciliation and intercompany eliminations so whatever differences we identified in the intercompany matching and reconciliation i want to update those differences into different accounts when i am eliminating those intercompany transactions transaction differences translation differences other differences offset so we will segregate the differences into different parts and we will post so we have to configure some posting rules recently in 2021 they introduced so we will understand that uh, posting rules intercompany matching uh, and intercompany elimination the to integrate these two we need some posting rules we are going to understand those posting rules for the management consolidation purpose we are going to understand first common parent concept management consolidation then we are going to understand consolidation of investments consolidation of investments investment eliminations equity eliminations goodwill calculations NCA calculations, subsequent consolidation. So first consolidation and first subsequent consolidation, both we are going to understand. As I said, you have equity pickup. So we are going to, it's an optional topic. I just explained this one. Uh, so equity pickup, we will understand. And all exercises will execute. We are going to maintain the ownership structure, ownership uh, percentages. We are going to run the consolidation of investments. We are going to execute match and reconcile uh, con uh, consolidation units intercompany payables and receivables elimination yeah then that last topic is reporting planning and balance carry forward we are going to understand how to uh, run the balance carry forward fi you are going to run and in uh, in group reporting also every year we are going to run balance carry forward then we have cash flow changes in equity comprehensive income we are going to use some reporting rules so we are going to understand reporting rules any best practice for planning we can uh, discuss how the planning content can be uh, uh, integrated with the group reporting so this is all and and if this is our everything so because we are using 2023 so we are going to use group reporting preparation ledger as a part as part of the course so this is all about the uh, course content so here Total 30 hours, minimum 30 hours. So it, it, it's always take more than 30 hours. Session time, uh, we can make it 6.30 or okay, we'll make it 6 p.m. India time, 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. India time. Two and a half hours, uh, two and a half hours session. So Saturday, two and a half hours, Sunday, two and a half hours. Only Saturday and Sunday will take. So every week I'm going to cover four to five hours and sessions are not recorded however you can because i'm not re uh, recording the sessions you can repeat the sessions so for example uh, uh, you are attending first time yeah if you are not comfortable with this first time whenever you attend to some concepts you are not clear or you want to repeat you can repeat no need to pay uh, extra you can repeat two times no problem and the fees is uh, 30,000 and you can pay in two installments. The server cost, yeah, server cost is, uh, we have one vendor, I will uh, I will uh, give you his contact details and he will charge for three months uh, 5,000 INR, not USD, INR and one month he will, he will charge 2,000 INR. And I will, I will share with you all the configuration steps because I'm not going to give the recordings. I will give you each and every step. So, just follow the uh, uh, steps. You can execute all the uh, all the uh, exercises. Yeah, and I will give you the documentation, class notes. We have once the sessions are completed, I will add you in a WhatsApp group. With it, that is a private group, right? To all the consultants will be there. You can uh, discuss, and also I can help you in the certification. So this is all about this uh, particular course. Now it's uh, open for the questions. You can unmute yourself and ask questions. So, so uh, hi, this is Sunil. Yes, sir. So, for example, uh, in, in this session, we will continue, right? So, for uh, after this, we want to again re, uh, as you said, right? We we can repeat the uh, group reporting again. Uh, that Correct. when it will be happen every two months i will stop so for example 
this this patch december 9th i started right so mm -hmm. january uh, february and january end it will be completed so february first week uh, i start to batch every two months i start okay it takes two so months to complete be... this batch i will not okay. give any gap okay got it thank you hey, kiran do you also offer sac training yeah yeah sac planning i offer sac analytics training and uh, advanced consultancy of investments it's it's advanced topic of this uh, group reporting that has been that has peer i am going to start so when ssc will be given ssc it's in the uh, in the middle of the session so it might take two more weeks to start okay, i will inform more weeks. okay thank you yeah. Yeah. any questions Hi, relevant to this content you can ask yeah Uh, yeah hi kiran kiran will you cover grdc part of the data collection no grdc i'm not going to it's not part of the course it's, it's a separate uh, license and a separate product separate product itself. okay it's a cloud based solution we will not let the server mm -hmm. for the practice okay so that is the product yeah. Hi Kiran, this is Sarika. My question is: uh, In this intercompany reconciliation, will it be possible that when we post uh, on on uh, one company, it will automatically post on the other side? Will that ha happen? Uh, that uh, it is helpful for for reconciliation purpose. Mm. So this is I'm I'm talking about the uh, reporting side, right? so intercompany transaction posting is different and reconciliation is different correct so you are talking about the posting so that you have to check it uh, in fi itself okay okay thank you so a question kiran uh, yeah. i want to start practicing on the server i have access so mm. i would you can. Uh, uh, when would you uh, handhold and you know let us know how to start practicing like you know posting uh, uploading the data and using the data in the system and then doing all the steps on the system that's mm -hmm. what i'm most interested so uh, uh, it, so it, my it, question is when would you let us uh, uh, do that or make us so this know, week so tomorrow tomorrow it will be uh, overview so i will show it in the system only but uh, in the day 2 that means next saturday coming saturday you need the system access no uh, yeah that's my point that i i already have system access i, I that's what i know. you can use from the next weekend saturday you can use your system yes. all right okay thank you the current is nagendra question is like yeah. so now group reporting is part of s4 hana from 2023 right hmm. yeah Mr. 21. So the recent, I mean, uh, you can say 2021, 2022. So now the uh, it will be it is part of a finance one. Yeah. Okay. So it's not completely a BPC related. It's kind of core. To, it came back to control. I mean, S4 side, right? S4. Sorry. Kiran. Uh, yeah. So you are teaching twenty twenty virtual. Yeah, I am then, teaching twenty twenty. Yeah. Okay. If we have twenty twenty system, can we do the same thing in that? Even if you have twenty two twenty eighteen also, eighteen zero nine also, it's okay. Not okay. Okay. And any, is it any, like? Sorry. See, basically, what happens? Every version you get some uh, new new functionalities. Correct. so the basic functionality is same the basic functionality is same. for example in 2018 they have some functionality so you can post the transactions loading the data uh, currency translation these are common consolidation of investments intercompany regulations so all those things you can execute in 2018 or 1809 when it comes to 2019 that means 1909 you can execute intercompany matching and reconciliation also 1809 those are not available 1909 intercompany matching and reconciliation available. when it comes to 2020 you can execute ipi profit on inventory elimination so that you cannot execute in the 1901 2020 you can execute 
markets. When it comes to 2021, you can execute equity pickup. You cannot execute equity pickup in 2020. So the base is same. Whatever additional things you cannot execute. Okay. That's my point. And is it uh, yep. inside SAP or is it add-on? Within S4 HANA, within S4 HANA, group reporting is free within S4 HANA. And do we need to activate it separately? No, that I'm going to expect. How to, okay. what, what, what are the steps you have to perform when you are starting your implementation? That is the day one, uh, day next to Saturday we are going to discuss. Okay. okay. So Kiran, what is the future of BPC then? BPC will be there. I think now uh, the roadmap says somewhere 2027. Now on BW for HANA, still BPC ah. available. Even S4 HANA also BPC will be available. BPC also available as of today. Both will be Actually, there. So it's customer the customer uh, decision which you know. Yeah. Uh, actually, in one of the versions, BPC was changed to IPP. Uh, uh -huh. No, that is BPC. See, basically, what happens? It's not necessary that all customers uh, convert to S4 HANA, right? It's not necessary, right? So even I know so many people still using ECC, BW, and that technology. At that time, they go with BPC only. Group reporting will not be available for them. Then what right? is IPP? So IPP is uh, SNOP planning, sales, sales and uh, operations planning, demand and oh. uh, supply planning. IBPF is a different. Another one is that integrated business planning for finance or integrated financial planning. So that's what uh, in SAC we are going to understand integrated financial planning. How this operational expenses planning, product cost planning, uh, uh, sales planning, sales and profitability planning, capital expenditure planning, financial statement planning happens, right? So that's what integrated financial planning. So Kiran, uh, I think you said you are going to offer SAC training too. So is it is it advisable to take both or uh, do we have to wait until this is done then we can, then we can start SAC? See difference if you want to get an idea, if you want to get an idea. So for example, it's it will, you, are, you are learning group reporting, you are learning SAC planning, right? It will be difficult for you to go through both ones because you will not get time because you have to work and you have to uh, go through those uh, Exercises, correct. So group people, one of the product you can you can start practicing. Another product just attend, listen. When when you repeat the sessions at that time you can practice. So, so even SAC, so, even yeah. SAC is offered the same days or a different days. Saturday and Sunday. Once I come, so this is India time, six to eight thirty. That is nine to eleven. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. So, any other questions? So, uh, just yes, ask, yes, yeah. can, uh, ask some questions, yeah. Arun. Yeah. Uh, so, first thing is um, uh, with the training timings, it's only on the weekends, right? Like uh, this three Correct. hours, and uh, this is like thirty hours, which is like three months duration. No, no, no. Thirty hours by no. three months. So each week, uh, five hours or four hours. So mm -hmm. eight weeks enough, right? If it is four hours, eight weeks enough. Okay. Now, for example, due to any reason, if I miss one of the sessions, then uh, I need to mm. wait again, let's say three months to catch up with that missed session, right? Because you're not recording anything. No. So you have to plan properly. So if, when you are available, then only you have to plan attending these sessions. Uh, one or no, two sessions, okay. if you missed also, I will, I will recap and uh, configuration steps will be there. Just mm -hmm. you need to spend more time. Okay. Um, another thing with this uh, system access. So, will hmm. there be um, test data available? I will take care of that. I will. I will give you the test data, master data. And uh, will we be doing a scenario like an end-to-end -end scenario, or uh, we'll be yes. just doing some customizing on an already available data? No, no, we are going to do end-to-end, -end, right? So we are going to create master data, our own master data, our own structure. We are going to load the data. We are going to prepare our own CSV files. We are going to prepare. We are going to post some transactions and we are mm -hmm. going to release. So we are going to generate our data. We are going to, it's kind of uh, real-time implementation. only. 
Okay, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, thanks. So, Sir, Kiran, this is Surya here. Certification can materials? I ask one question? Yeah, yeah, I will provide certification material. If you want, you can write. I will give you certification questions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Kiran, we are on uh, version 1809. Uh, so, planning for upgrade probably mm. next year or so. So, what is the mm. best version to go to from 1809? Is it 2023 or? 1909 so without you, you have we you want have to use to, the existing data etc yeah correct so these type of things it's always better to directly write to your sap account manager so they will understand your landscape and they will suggest the correct one okay yeah any other question thank you uh kiran yeah. is sap is sap knowledge is mandatory to perform the group reporting no no, the both are two separate products group reporting and access it's not mandatory SSC group reporting oh. right so i'm Can sorry I just share one more question so when is this batch yeah. start